this is something that I have been wanting to show you for a very long time. This is what I call my watercolor clutch. It is some sort of an envelope, plastic. And it is uh, translucent. And in here I have my watercolor kit when I go out. When I go on vacation, I take this with me. And when I go walking in nature, I take this with me too. And I'll show you what is inside. Here in the back, I have tissues. I need tissues to clean my brush. And then here, I have a piece of cardboard that I painted with acrylic paint, so it is uh, water repellent. It doesn't take lots of water, and I need that. I don't want this to get soaking wet. Here I have my large watercolor set. Most of them are Sennelier paints, I will show you uh, in a second. Then over here I have a bunch of watercolor paper sheets. And then here I have a couple of sketches that I made and I think this one is the best. I made this one last year in the mountains of uh, Madeira island Madeira and this is another sketch that I made in the Netherlands it's just so much fun to uh, sit outdoors and uh, start sketching and painting a little bit it's really very joyful I can highly recommend it a couple of beech trees just a quick sketch here I have a, a church with some trees and flowers, very simple. Madeira was very suitable for painting outdoors. Here I have this one on the, on the shore with a little boat. And the shed, beautiful old shed. I love old sheds. So this is what I like to do when I paint outdoors. And here's the set that I use. And everything I need is in here. So I have a pencil and this is a 4H, so a hard graphite pencil. And on the other side, I have another pencil that is a softer one. It's an HB. Let's see if I can get it out. It doesn't want to come out. Well, anyway, it's over there. Then over here, I have a Stadler pigment liner. So in case I want to have a clear line, I can make it with this ink pen. Here I have a Pentel water brush with water already inside the brush, very handy. I have an eraser that fits over here. And then I have these clips. And I use these clips to put watercolor paper onto this uh, cardboard. And that has that is really necessary because when it gets windy you really really need to clip your paper on let's see i do it like this oh so and then i start painting it really works very well i also have a field easel, an easel that I can take out, but uh, it's too heavy to take it with me when I go hiking and walking, so this is much more uh, suitable. Most of the paints in this uh, 
in this set are Sennelier. Some of them are different, another brand, but most of them are Sennelier. And I have found that when I am in nature, outdoors and painting, um, I, I want to have as much as, as many colors as possible with me. Um, that is the opposite of what a field set looks like when you buy them. They are as, as small as possible, but, but for me, I think it's just a lack of um, experience with mixing colors from my on my side. So um, I think the more I learn about mixing colors, the less colors I need in my set. But for now, this works very nicely for me and um, I I was looking forward to do a lot more painting outdoors this year but because of this coronavirus it's not going to happen I fear so yeah this is the one I have very good memories of very good it was on top of the mountain on the island Madeira, we had a beautiful, beautiful view above this, above the clouds. There were many clouds, but we were on top of the mountain and we saw this sea of clouds. It was absolutely amazing. And then these beautiful rocks and a little bit of shrubs and trees. It was very nice. So. If you want to make a set like this, I think you can find the ingredients to do that. So what you need is just you need to cut um, watercolor paper in the size that you wish to use or that fits your, uh, your bag, your clutch. This fits my clutch, so that is why I chose this, this size. It's a bit unusual size, but uh, actually it's fun. It's, uh, it forces me to be creative with what I want to paint. Then you need, of course, a watercolor set. Again, as large as you want. And this is very, very handy. Very handy. It doesn't fit here, but I can... I can clip it on here with one of the clips so uh, this is very very handy so uh, yeah well um, this is my watercolor clutch there's nothing more to tell about but I just wanted to show you so I wish you happy coloring and painting and see you in the next video bye bye